Jade Hay, your favorite Belgian YouTuber. So I'm actually half French, half Belgian, and if you don't know, Belgium is a small country right on top of France, and there the main, um, one of the main two languages is French. So I grew up speaking French with both my mom in Belgium and with my dad in France, um, in Paris. So anyway, I moved to North America about eight years ago now, and <laughs> a question I get pretty often from women here is how the hell do French women stay so thin? I mean, the food is so good and so buttery and there seem to be bakeries on every street corner. So what's going on? Well, first of all, that's all true. There really are bakeries on every street corner and the food really is amazing and pretty buttery. So to try and explain what's going on here, first I wanna give you an idea of what a French woman eats in a day and you can maybe compare it to what um, an American woman eats in a day. And then I'm going to tell you what I think the real reason is that French women on average are thinner than American women. So let's get to it. So first, breakfast. French women will almost always have breakfast. Skipping it is definitely not typical unlike it is in the US. However, the actual breakfast itself really isn't all that healthy. People will usually have about one or two slices of bread with some sugary jam on top of it. So it's probably healthier than like a donut or a muffin, but a lot less healthy than your typical um, oatmeal American breakfast. Now, one thing that's different though, is that they won't have a Starbucks latte filled with sugar. If they do drink coffee, they'll usually have it black or just an espresso, and they might add a touch of cream in um, the coffee. So overall, I think the calories in their breakfast might be a bit lower than in your um, average American breakfast. Then comes lunch. So until lunch, French women usually won't eat anything and at lunch they will choose something very light, usually a salad that they get somewhere close to their work. For some reason, eating anything more consistent like um, a sandwich, you know, made with baguette bread usually, would feel like unnecessarily overeating. So they usually keep lunch very light and pretty quick. All right, then after the boring salad comes to 4 p.m. snack time otherwise known as goûter. It's absolutely crucial and is always taken at or around 4 p.m. I'm not sure why, but I know that when I grew up, there hasn't been a single day where I wasn't given a snack at exactly 4 p.m. It's just how we're raised. <laughs> so people at 4 p.m. will usually opt for something a little sweet, unless they're watching their weight, and then they might have something healthier, like a granola bar. But in general, they'll have a small pastry. Now, I'm not saying they'll have a whole croissant, Okay, it's more like a small fruit tart, you know, something just a little sweet um, to fill their sweet tooth at 4 p.m. And finally, dinner. So overall, um, dinner will take a lot longer to prepare than in America, and people will usually try to eat it as a family or with whomever they live with, and they'll try to actually talk to each other during dinner and not be in front of the TV. Unless they live alone, and then, you know, what can you do? But um, so dinner ends up being a lot less processed than it might be in America, but it's still not the healthiest, you know. A lot of things might be cooked in some butter, like if there's some meat, it's usually going to be cooked in a pan with butter, unlike <laughs> on a barbecue in America, which would give less fat overall. But I think um, what really matters here is that they'll try to have a small enough amount of whatever they're eating, so that the calories themselves remain pretty low. Note that they will usually have some baguette to go along with dinner. That is not a stereotype, I swear. Most French families will bring home a baguette for dinner every single day. In fact, I really miss a good French baguette. I haven't found one yet in Chicago. If you have any tips or just in general in America, please leave them in the comment. I'm looking. <laughs> anyway, so I think here the key is really the portion size. You know, of course, you guessed it, that's like the main difference of how French women eat in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's not necessarily healthier than in America. You know, foods are less fried in general, they're still cooked in butter, but they consciously try to have a smaller portion size. Yes, they will eat baguette, but it might be their main source of carbs for dinner, and they'll consciously try to only have one or two pieces. So that's a really big difference. All right, now, <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I think the real reason is that French women are thinner than American women. And it's not magic, it's not genetics, all right? It's body image. They honestly care more about their body image than the average American woman does. 
I mean, if you're slightly overweight in America, you're still considered normal, you know, you might even be considered fit if you're going to the gym. And I think that's great, you know, um, you still feel good about yourself. But in France, if you gain a few pounds, you might end up being the fattest one among your friends and you just, your body image is going to be really hurt and people are going to be a lot more honest with you than people would be in America. I mean, I've gained about like eight pounds since moving to North America about eight years ago and I swear, if I go to the restaurant with my grandma when I'm back in Europe and I eat too many pieces of bread, she'd be like, are you sure you want that other piece of bread? <laughs> I mean, I don't know, you know, I don't, I don't think it's given from her in a bad way, you know, it's just she's trying to be honest and people will feel, oh poor girl, she might feel self-conscious now that she's gained a few pounds, you know, let's help her. I don't think it's particularly helpful, you know, I feel perfectly fine in my body, I'm still thin, like, whatever. But yeah, I think that definitely contributes to it. Also, by the way, I heard that people here don't think French women diet, and that they're just kind of thin. That is not true, I swear. If a French woman gains like two pounds, because they will weigh themselves at least weekly, they will go on a diet. In fact, about 15 years ago, I think when I was in like middle or high school, a famous diet came out, the Dukan diet, which is kind of this crazy diet where we basically just eat like lean protein for a week and then you alternate between protein and vegetables indefinitely until you've reached your goal weight. So pretty unhealthy, you know, no fruit or anything. Um, so when that came out, everyone I knew was on it. I mean, my mom tried it, like my stepmom tried it, like my friends tried it. We were in high school and everyone was doing it. Like people honestly will diet if they gain any kind of weight and they will go on these like weird extreme diets like the Dukan diet. I mean, in all honesty, I even tried it for a few months and I lost a few pounds. Yeah, honestly, I think French women are a lot more self-conscious than American women are. And I don't believe that's a good thing, you know? I mean, it can be good in certain ways, but like the, the normal is thinner than it is in America. So that makes them want to be thinner so that they're not considered overweight. All right, yep, there you have it. The reason why I think French women in general are thinner than American women, pretty simple, you know, nothing that surprising. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you were always wondering why are French women so thin, even though the food in France is so delicious and buttery and croissant and baguette. Anyway, <laughs> uh, please hit the subscribe button down below for more weekly content and I will see you on the next video. Bye.